Zyphering now expanding. Main rib lock disengaged. All blocks, orbits confirmed. No anomalies detected. Commencing energy exposure. Expanding gate lens. Gate creation successful. Well, it's almost time. Opening fleet-wide transmission channel. Attention, fleet of Corneria. We in command have done all we can. From here on out, we're entrusting everything to you. So please, do your best. But try to come back alive. Okay, Pop. Link the gate. Target, the Aperoid homeworld. Okay. Is everyone ready? Star Fox, move out. Coordinates of Aperoid system confirmed and stored in memory. This is it? It's lovely. I wasn't expecting that. Wait, its size and mass are disproportionate. What? What does that mean? Are you saying... Look there! That must be where the Aperoids came from. Maybe we could use it to make our way to the planet interior. But after the Aperoids come out, it looks like some sort of shield goes up. Multiple shield generators detected, displaying now. If the past is any indication, there'll be hatchers along with those shield generators, huh? Even if we could move forward, that's as far as we'd get. It'll be dangerous, but we've got to demolish all the generators and turn off that shield. Hello there everyone, my name is Rage and welcome back to Star Fox Assault. In the previous episode, we left off by doing Mission 8, which is actually a pretty short mission, which is protect protecting the gate. And in this episode, we are officially here in the Aperoid's homeworld. And this is a post-commentary, and I'm going to go over and go ahead and go over why I'm doing this right now, actually, since I don't really have much else to talk about. Now, in a blind let's play, it's typically a thing where you're supposed to have live commentary, and normally I'd say, you know, screw it and go back to re-record this. But I have some news, and I really feel like I need to get this out of the way. So you're going to notice it a couple times in this video, but lately I've been having a lot of problems with my HD PVR. Now, if you guys don't know, the capture card I use is called an Apog HD PVR, and it's a capture card I've had for quite some time. I think I've had it since September of 2011, and it's done very well. I would recommend it to anyone. It's an awesome capture card. But lately, it's been giving me a lot of problems. You see, when I was recording episode 8 of Star Fox Assault, aka the episode you saw before this one, I was going to record it, and in the middle of one of my recording attempts of it, my computer decided to blue screen, which, you know, blue screens are never good as it is, but when you have your PVR plug in, since plugged in, since the PVR is such a delicate piece of, of you know, technology, that it, it just doesn't really accept the fact that it blue screened very well. Therefore, my PVR has been giving me tons and I mean tons of problems ever since it happened. And now it's getting to the point where every few minutes or whenever something crazy is going on on the screen, it will completely skip and skip frames, which not only makes my commentary go out of sync, but it messes up my entire editing process, which is impossible to fix. Overall, 
this is a pain in the butt to deal with, and honestly, I don't really know how I'm going to end up recording the finale without, you know, with the situation at the moment. Um, but, yeah. Um, I'm really sorry for not live commentating this, but as you can see, we're storming the home world. Our objective is to take out these generators, which are giving power to the hatchers, and then take out the hatcher once you've taken out all the generators. It's fairly straightforward, and... You know, I had a lot of problems with it, I'll give it that. It was a very time-consuming mission. And it's also one of the hardest I've dealt with. I almost die many times. If it wasn't for the fact I had barriers, I would have died. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a more or less impossible on gold rank, unless you're good at the game. So I'm glad when I started this Let's Play, I picked bronze rank. You know, I think my... I'm thinking, I'm thinking my past self at this point. But, yeah. Um... But I'm really sorry about not being able to do this live and show you guys my reactions live, but it would have been so horribly out of sync, you would have heard reactions after it happened, and it just... I'd rather have a video that's post-commentary than a video that's out of sync, it, for just professionalism. Regardless, we are getting very close to the end of the game here. We are literally... this is the last mission, the second to last mission. The next mission is the final mission, mission 10. And that's where we're going to be fighting the final boss, but that is if we can succeed to get through this mission. This mission is very challenging, but it also carries all three of the different, you know, uh, ways of play you can play this game. You can play as the R-Wing, which comes into play later. You can use the Landmaster to get around this giant terrain, or you can just go on foot. It really has the, the best of all of the game, you know, the best of whatever you prefer. And, um... Since I'm a big fan of the R-Wing, I would fa I normally favor that a lot, and, uh, you know, I, I went into detail. Now, right there, I was on the verge of death. If it wasn't for the fact I had these barriers, I probably would have died. But, if you, collect a hel if you collect a barrier when you have zero health, it'll just burn through the barrier again. So, I kind of wasted the second barrier there, but it did make me, you know, sur <clears throat> survive long enough to get to this health pack over here. So, that's always good. Now... Um, the place is really like a labyrinth. It, it's very confusing, it's not straightforward, it's not linear, it's not lenient, it's a difficult place, you know. Not to mention the enemies are coming left and right, you know, you can never be too safe walking around the corners, you know. And it's just, it's a great final mission, like a great last to final mission. It shows you, hey, the rest of this game isn't going to be easy, this is, this is what you asked for, You're, this is the... This is the thrill and the excitement and the difficulty I look for when I play Star Fox, and this is why this mission is, is although I hated it because of how hard it was, I really, really loved this mission. I'm looking forward to playing the final mission. If I can fix my PVR enough, I'm going to try to record the final mission in the next couple of days, or, you know, soon. And right there, I just did a skip. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but it just skipped very badly. You, I think it skipped about 30 seconds or something like that. I, I'm not quite sure how long it skipped for. At least a good 10 seconds there. And that made my commentary, the live commentary, out of sync by 10 seconds. Which right here, I split the video and start a new recording entirely just to fix it. But then it does it again later and I didn't notice it this time. So it ended up keeping my commentary permanently out of sync, which really, really sucks. I'm going to try to get the finale up I'm going to try to get it up the day after this goes up, but if I can't do that, please don't hold it against me. Uh, it's not like I'm trying to delay it, it's not like I'm trying to purposely not finish this project, because I want to finish it. And there, it just did a skip right there. I did put this part in fast forward, since all it was was me taking on enemies around here that had nothing to do with generators, and overall it was just me derping around until I found what I'm supposed to do, which was take on another generator. Now, this world, I will admit, for a first time playing, is very hard. I had a lot of trouble with it. From a... I was very mad at this when they were recording. I kind of wish I could, you know, show you guys some of that, but it wouldn't really make much sense since it would be out of sync. But, um, we're back to normal speed at this point, and... Now we're heading into this place, which is going to have our next target, which is another generator. No whoop de freaking do Um... This mission is very long. I was actually prepared to go in here from what people have told me. I was prepared to go in here for a 30 to 40 minute mission. Luckily enough, I actually kept my wits about me and was able to do this within 20. So, that's that's good. Um, I do 
I admit I'm kind of scared. If this is not even the final world, I'm really scared to see what the final mission is. Um, I did see a loading screen for the next mission, and it does say underneath the, underneath the loading screen in very bold text, this is your final mission. So, mission 10 is the end of the game. The game's a lot shorter than I expected, actually. Um, I kind of expected a longer game. I guess I was just kind of going off what Adventures was. And I do admit, the game feels too short to me, but, you know, I guess we'll see whenever I see the true ending of the game, whenever I go and record the finale to this game. But, um, I'm probably won't be able to say it when my thoughts are scattered by doing live commentary on the, this game and the final boss and stuff. But I just want you guys to know, contrary to anything I've said during this Let's Play, I've really enjoyed this game. It's been a blast, you know. It... While I be it, well, be it, I still think that Star Fox 64 is a masterpiece of a game. I do think that this game is more faithful to 64 than, you know, Adventures was. I'm not saying Adventures is bad. I do enjoy Adventures. I don't know if I've said that in this LP at all, but Adventures is an awesome game, and I do eventually plan to let's play it. It's just. I feel that this game was more faithful to what 64 sort of innovated, which is the arcade style you know, and the missions and whatnot. Um, but I must admit, I miss one of my favorite things, and that is the two ways of doing each world. In Star Fox 64, you had two ways of doing each world. You had a normal exit and a and a uh, another exit for the routes. For example, on the first planet of 64, you had, you could either save Falco and do a very strict maneuver through a bunch of hoops to unlock the hard route, or you could play the level normally and get the easy route. And I really liked that factor of the Star Fox series. That's something I loved, is the fact that you could just choose your own route. You could choose your own, you know, you know how you played the game. And this game was just sort of felt like, hey, this is the game, it's laid out like this, you play it like this. And that's one of my complaints with this game. Another thing is these random difficulty spikes this game seems to have. It's sometimes, like, just like Mission 8, Mission 8 was hard, but also it was pretty easy. Or Mission 6? No, 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 it was Mission 5. Mission 5, I, um, Asteroid Belt. It was a really, really fun and nostalgic mission, but it was too easy, especially coming after, um, I believe it was how difficult 4 was, I can't remember exactly. You know, yeah, 4, the Snow World, Fashina. After how much difficulty I had on Fashina and how much difficulty I had on Mission 6, you know, I expected, especially Mission 7, I had so much difficulty, I expect a hard mission, and sometimes the game just kind of throws in an easy one. I mean, I understand that's kind of the game trying to keep its credibility by, you know, throwing a curveball every now and again, but I just feel that, you know, the game should have been a little bit more, you know, on rails. However, I do love this game. It is really great addition in the Star Fox series. I've never played Command, and I've read stuff on it, and I really don't think I want to play Command. It actually... I've heard a lot of stuff about it. I've heard it's not canon. I've heard that it's, you know, not... They don't... A lot of people don't consider it a Star Fox game, and I've heard a lot of controversy about the game. You know, eventually I might play it for myself, but for... I'm never... I probably never LP it unless I play the game for myself and really, really fall in love with the game, which I doubt, because I've heard a lot of nasty things about it, but I will play it for myself before I judge it. You know, I don't want to be one of those people who judge a book by its cover. And, uh, you know, it is a Star Fox game on a DS that isn't a remake, so, I mean, I want to check that out. DS was one of my all-time favorite systems. It had, you know, series like Professor Layton, Phoenix Wright, Pokemon games, it, Mario, and, uh, overall, it was just one of my favorite systems. So, of course, I'm going to check out Star Fox Command at some point or another, but for now, I'm sort of just trying to chill out. Now, right here, we finally get into the R-Wing after, like, a long time of not using it, and I'm trying to land here. And apparently this is not a wide open space that I can land on top of. The game abrupt me to abruptly told me that it's not a wide open space, you can't land there. So, obviously the, the game's hating, because that is obviously a wide open space, but whatever. Not going to question the game. Now, as for where things are going to be going after, you know, this episode, I don't know, I can't guarantee you guys will get an upload tomorrow the day after this, which if you're watching this in the future, this is absolutely irrelevant to you. But um, if you're watching this live as I'm uploading it, uh, I don't know if there's going to be a video tomorrow or not. I figured it, I should use this time of post-commentary where I can't really say anything else to just go ahead and talk about this. 
but it really just depends on my PVR situation. You know, if this is the finale of the game, I really don't want my PVR screwing up the epicness that is probably going to be the ending of this game. And, you know, if I can't get it to work without screwing up, I'm probably just going to delay it until I get my new capture cards. Uh, I really hate doing that, though, but, you know, whatever it comes down to, I don't know yet. Um, but, yeah, now we're pretty much on our way to find the final generator and take out uh, the final, you know, hatcher which is the final hatcher of the mission. And we're just kind of using the H launcher, which I still don't know the official name of. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's like a rocket launcher, but not as, like, it's not the same name. But um, right here we have all the hatchers, and it says mission update instead of mission complete. So obviously, something's up. So six more hatchers just spawned, as you can see. We have new two targets. And um, we need to go take care of those. So we're going to go ahead and head out of the building and... Take care of them, you know? Take care of them. So, at this point, I'm kind of just rushing to get to my R-Wing because I know that things I need to get, there are things I gotta get done. I know that since this is gonna switch to a, I'm pretty sure this is going to switch to a flying segment, I know I have to get to my R-Wing and take it out, especially since Peppy's telling me that. I also know that in flying sections, my teammates always find trouble for themselves, so... Uh, at this point, I'm trying my best to get into the R-Wing as fast as possible before someone gets in trouble. Now, right here, they are the final six, and all of a sudden, like I said, as soon as I get in my R-Wing and get down there, Falco gets in trouble. Now, at this point, my mind is kind of doing two things. I ask myself, is it worth saving Falco, or should I just complete the mission? I do understand there's bonuses you can get for finishing a mission with your full team, and I'm sitting here questioning, should I just try to beat the mission faster, or should I try to take the time to go and save him? And eventually, I decided that it'd be more worth it just to go ahead and finish the mission. Because, not that like, I don't like Falco or anything, he's probably my favorite of the Star Fox crew, but it's the fact of the matter is that I'm so close to, to completion here, I really don't want to screw the chances of that up by me getting involved in a, a fight that is not really my fight and then end up getting myself killed, which means I'd have to restart this whole godforsaken mission, and no. I don't want to do that, so losing one teammate won't, you know, hurt me too bad. I mean, in the future of this game, I might try to do a perfect run of not losing any teammates, but, you know, this was a Let's Play, it was blind, it was for fun, and playing this game for fun is not me replaying a mission that I completely hated and how much I had a lot of difficulty on. Now, right here, we're about to lose Falco, he just retired, and now Slippy's being chased as well. But, you know, if I didn't say Falco, who's like the coolest member of the team, I'm not going to go save Slippy, so... Here I am, I'm just going to go ahead and run straight towards the, um, the next enemy, which is, the next target, not enemy, the next target, and you can get a silver ring right here to help repair my R-Wing, and pretty much this is where things are about to wrap it up, because right here I'm just going to go ahead and take out this target, and then the one over here, and that's going to be it for the mission. Well you know, with, with a couple crashes and burns here and there. Still not perfect with the R-Wing flying in this game, especially not after playing Star Fox 64 so much, but that is mission complete. We're done, we can now invade their base. Now, in the original recording this, I actually kind of got, like, I, as you see, there were spamming buttons on my controller because I was very angry at the mission. Now, right here, I thought there was going to be a cutscene, and I thought I skipped it, but there's actually was not a cutscene there. I just kind of panicked in the original recording, but, yeah. That's going to be it for today. So next time on the finale of Star Fox Assault, we will be taking on the Aperoid Queen once and for all, and hopefully succeeding. Anyway, thank you all for watching. In the, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more Let's Plays. Check out the playlist in the description if you want to see more videos, and I will see you all on the next episode, the finale of Star Fox Assault.